I, um, I actually, I am, I am not a U.S. citizen. I can't vote. <laughs> Thank you. But I decided to join this campaign because I saw the struggle that my family had to go through when we crossed the border. About 18 years ago, my mother came to the United States. I was only 11, together with my siblings, my four siblings, running away from domestic violence in Mexico. And she said, you know what? I have tried very hard here to survive and I just can't, I, I can't see you guys living in, in, in this type of environment. I need to take you somewhere where you're gonna be able to be a better person, where you're gonna get ahead in life. And she took a huge, huge courageous action to bring us to the United States, to cross the border. And you know, I was blessed to have a mother that is courageous enough to do that. I've grown up here and I was, you know, I, we actually moved into Arizona. I know, it's, I asked my mom why Arizona, but, but I love my home. <laughs> And we came to Arizona, and unfortunately, when I, when I started college, I was able to get into Arizona State University as an undocumented student, and it was, it was a struggle. But the very first time I realized that it was going to be a struggle is when you know, Arizona passed an anti-immigrant law called uh, Proposition 300, which required for undocumented students to pay out-of-state tuition. And it was absolutely, for us, it was, it was, we were angry because we worked very hard. <laughs> we were very, very hard as students, as, as, as immigrants in this country. And, and the more we go ahead, we keep hearing this horrible rhetoric from people like Donald Trump or people that are so, I know, yes, <laughs> exactly. That is, that's the reaction of, 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 of those of us who are here. And we know that that's not who we are, that that's not what they're portraying and it's not us. And, and unfortunately, Arizona decided to do all this and, but one of the good things that happened <clears throat> was that because of that experience, we started mobilizing a group of students there in Arizona that started this amazing movement called the Dreamer Movement there. And we started getting connected to thousands of dreamers across the country, even from here from New York, that started organizing and building up this amazing movement that said, you know what, it's enough. You're not gonna call me illegal. You're not gonna call me criminal. You're not gonna call me a rapist. I am Erica, I am undocumented, I'm an unafraid. And that's, that's who we are. And we came out and we said it. And we pushed against all odds. And I can tell you, we pushed not only against Republicans being so hateful, we also pushed against the Democratic establishment that kept telling us, no, you gotta wait. You gotta wait for us to come and save you. We gotta wait, you gotta wait for an entire Congress to work so you can keep your family together. And we said, no, we, we can stop deportations right now. We can stop deportations right now and we can get President Obama to stop deportations. And guess what, we push hard for the first time. People who have no power in this country to vote were able to push the most powerful men in, this, in, in the world, really, President Obama, to give us deferred action, to give us DACA, to give us a work permit to be able to be here in this country and to have an opportunity to prove that we can be, that we can be somebody, that we can get ahead. And now I have a work permit and I have the amazing experience now to be able to work for, for Bernie. <laughs> but that one, that same day that I was able to get my, my, my work authorization here in this country, that same day I was able to get my first job as, a, as an aide in Congress. I came home and I said, Mommy, let's celebrate. I have something really amazing to tell you. I just got a job with my, my, my brand new social. Trust me, those of you who were born with a social, it's really amazing to see your new card <laughs> when you're older. And I was, I was able to, to, to really have that experience and I said, Mom, let's, let's go celebrate tonight. She, she went to get ready and that same night, somebody out there, you know, somebody greater than us told me it's not enough for you to, it's not enough, you gotta keep fighting for your family. ICE, immigration came to my own house that night, knocked on my door, and they took my mother and my brother. In that moment, I understood that I needed to keep fighting. That same night, 
I organized, I had already an amazing movement of dreamers that was behind, you know, that we were together organizing and we were able to come together. We made thousands of calls to immigration, we made thousands of calls um, to the White House, to Congress, and we said, please stop my mother's deportation. And that same night, around, it took us like 12 hours to get about 60,000 people to sign a petition, so you watch a YouTube video. And in a matter of hours, the bus was going to Mexico already with my mother inside, chained up, 55-year-old woman chained up, going to Mexico. And somebody from D.C. called and said, stop the bus, bring her back. And it was the first time, one of the first times that I saw that it takes unity. It takes a community to come together, to be really with one another, sticking together and pushing forward, fighting together. And it's gonna take for us to be united in that same way, just like my community was able to stop my mother's deportation. Just like that, it's gonna take our community to come together and say, you know what, enough is enough. It's gonna, for, it's gonna require for us to unite and say we need free college tuition. It's going to take for us to unite and say, you know what, there's no reason why we cannot have free health care in this country for every, every human being that it's a right, not a privilege. And it's going to take all of us to unite and come together to change this political system that kids keeps being corrupted by Wall Street. And it's going to require for us to unite and say, this is a time for a political revolution, and this is a time to elect Bernie Sanders as the next president of the United States, and it's going to require all of you to unite with us, to make calls, to come to our offices, to canvas, to knock on those doors, and this is going to be the way in which we're going to be able to win New York, because we're going to win New York. Are you ready for that? Thank you all so much, and please get involved. Please knock on doors. Please make those calls, and I will see you guys in our office. Yes? Yeah. Thank you all so much.